Greetings, beloved. How are you? Uh, I'm good at yourself. I'm doing well. Long time no hear from my brother. How's, how's life treating you? Yeah, you know, I know all is all blessed. You know, uh huh. Just driving. Yeah, you're growing. You're you're growing mentally and spiritually. It's with the spirit realm and what your um your spirit guides are saying, and they're very. And I'm telling you this because they're very delighted, and they and they do acknowledge um the spiritual growth. You went from they say that you went from a period of not knowing to knowing, and it's interesting because we are now in, as you know. We are now in the Aquarian age, or we're now in the cycle of I know. So as the earth, as this particular vibration is growing into into consciousness, or, ri or rather rising into consciousness, so are you as an individual. And, they, and that's a beautiful thing, because a lot of us haven't gone to that spiritual growth and it's patient and then what they're saying is patiently it's little by little it's little by little he may not know it but it's happening little by little you're activating each dna cells um to your highest potential and you are actually aligning yourself with the highest with your highest vortex and again my love understand that um again be patient with yourself in terms of manifesting the things that you want to manifest and also know that things happen in cycles. And I'm not sure if, I'm not sure if, you know, you wanted to speak to me this time around about love again. But love is coming up. As soon as I woke up, actually you're my first client. And as soon as I woke up, the spirit realm said, listen, tell him to set up an altar about love. Tell him to set up an altar so that it can come into his vortex. And then another thing that another thing that they're saying that there's a lot of women, okay? I don't know if you attract a lot of women or you know a lot of women, different women hit on you, but um, in any event, on a spirit realm, there's a lot of women that are here w waiting to be with you. So what this means to tell, what this tells me is that your spirit, as you may know. Um, our spirit does not only resonate on planet Earth, but your spirit also resonates on different galaxies and different frequencies. And it is within these different frequencies, perhaps um, the planet Venus and the planet Mars is what's coming up. Perhaps when your spirit travels and resonates on these particular different planets, you have these polygamous relationships with these different women. And I'm speaking about beautiful, fine wine women like you know, Nubian princess type of uh, sisters here that are standing in front of me and saying that they are spiritually attracted to your spirit. So as you rise in consciousness, as you rise in consciousness or as you humble yourself in terms of trying to attract love, um, you already, you already attracting uh, this, this, this love frequency or probably it's a factuation with who you are. Um, and but that's not that's not what the the message that was said to me at the beginning. The message that was sent to me at the beginning um, was for you to set up an altar, a love altar. And what and what your spirit guides are saying? Listen, tell him to work with Urzuli Frida. Are you uh, familiar with her? Hello. Oh no. I was actually channeling and asking questions and you was not even on the line. I know, I was trying to call you back. <laughs> That's crazy. What was the last thing that you heard me say? Um, you said my, my ancestors are uh, spirit guys are saying that I'm growing spiritually uh, and mentally. That's the only um, thing you heard? Me? Oh, wow. I done said so much. Give me one second. Let me raise. Um. <laughs> Let, no, it's it's fine though. It happens. It happens because you know Mercury just went direct, so now things is is uh, going clearly with communication. But um, you're here now, right? Yes. Okay. Yes. So um, you said yeah, I said that your spirit guides what they say. So now I gotta backtrack, and I I don't know how to backtrack when I'm channeling. Give me a second. Give me a second. Give me a second. Give me a second. Let me see. Okay. 
So what they okay? So what they said was that they, your spirit guides are acknowledging that you are in deep meditation with yourself, and that you are now growing spiritually, and you are attracting rather yeah, you are attracting the things that you want little by little. You may not see everything unfold as you may want it. But it is happening little by little, little in your internal universe, right? And then another thing that I said was that I'm not sure if you wanted to ask me specifically about love and relationships, but who I'm seeing now, the what I'm channeling and the spirits and the sisters that I'm seeing now are some fine wine sisters that are attracted to your energy and then that led me to say I don't know if a lot of women or different women flirts with you or are attracted to you or be trying to get with you but you have your hat like as a result of you doing what you're doing in terms of humbling yourself and doing the spiritual practices that you have been doing this is the result, meaning the attraction from other galaxies that are with women that are coming to you on the spirit realm. So it may not seem like you are in a healthy relationship on this physical realm, but on another, in other planets, meaning and what uh, the the planet that they spoke to me about is is Venus and um and Mars. They're saying that there's different goddesses or different deities that are attracted to you from that planet. Now, um, it may be that your spirit, when you go to sleep, you know, you astral project or even uh, however it is, you have this connection to these two particular planets, which is Mars and Venus, the planet of love, um, which is also ruled, which is also ruled by Taurus opposite Scorpio, and Scorpio deals with sexual organs, sexual tendencies, sexual attraction, you know, everything dealing with intimate relationships. So in any event, I do understand that in this particular realm, and like I said, I'm not sure if this is what you was going to ask me about, but this is the first thing that came up as soon as I woke up. Um, they said, listen, and I said, and I said, today you're my first client. But when, as soon as I woke up, they say, listen, this is what's happening with him. But instead of him just, uh, you know, being patient, you have to begin to set up an altar, um, an altar for love and an altar for attraction. So we're dealing with lighting up pink and uh, pink candles and white candles. And then I said, okay, well. Who is who should he work with in order for it to manifest here on this particular planet? So they said, okay, tell him to work with Urzuli Frida. Are you familiar with her? Uh, no, I'm not. No, I'm not. You're not familiar with Urzuli Frida? Not, not, not really. Urzuli. I, I think I've heard. Okay, you know what? Matter of fact, let me get this book. Hold on, I'm pretty sure that, um, I am pretty sure, uh, let me get this book. I'm pretty sure that within this book, we have Urzuli Frida covered. She is the goddess of love and goddess of attraction. If you want, you know, if this is what you want to attract into your life, this is who specifically your spirit guides is telling me that you need to work with. Now, like I said to you before, it's cool what you're doing um, in terms of staying humble and in terms of, you know, staying positive, knowing and patiently waiting. They're saying, listen, that's okay. But they asked me, they said, well, what else is he doing? And I'm like, well, I don't know because I'm not on the phone with him yet, you know. And that's something that I was going to ask you. What else are you doing in terms of just you know, um, you know, just visualizing yourself and the practices that you're practicing. If you have not set up an altar, they say, listen, tell him to set up this altar. Tell him to open up the doors so that he can attract or manifest the thing. You, so basically, is using other types of tools 
to manifest what it is that you're doing, just like with crystals. And they also spoke to me about pyrite and the number eight with you. And pyrite will also help with abundance, um, financial attraction, and also help with cleansing out of the blood, cleansing the blood. Um, and opening up okay. your pineal gland is what they're saying. So work with pyrite in that in that sense. Um, and then let's get back to Urzuli Frida because this is very interesting. And then two, and then two, and this is this is a conversation that I was literally having as soon as I woke up. So it's it's good because I'm just coming out of the spirit realm. So they already knew, like your spirit guys already knew that we was gonna have this union. So it's like, all right, well, let me tell you everything right now. Understand this. I'm My spirit might have already been speaking to your spirit. As I said, you know, as you know as well, our spirit does not only reside on planet Earth. We, we, we travel to different planets and we resonate with different frequencies and different dimensions as well. And most of the time we will have relationships with different people that we're unaware of because guess what we are spiritual and melanated people so in any event that's why i was asking you you know do you have like do you have like um pe like ladies or, or females flirting with you blah 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 because you ha these there's these beautiful sisters like they're it's a lot um you know it's a lot brown skin nice curves like Seriously, and I ain't, I ain't, listen, I ain't, I'm straight, I'm straight, I'm straight, I'm straight, I'm, straight. I'm not, I ain't gay, man, like, I'm straight, but hey, if a sister's beautiful, a sister's beautiful, and these particular sisters that are coming to me are some beautiful sisters, and I'm like, okay, well, what is it, is it that these are the particular ones that will manifest, um, you know, in the near future or when it's time, and they say, no, these are the sisters that he is currently having relationships with in other dimensions. So, yeah, wow. this is what I'm trying to tell you. Yeah, this is what I'm trying to tell you. And these particular sisters, they come from different galaxies, and um, uh, the planet Mars and the planet Venus is coming. So I said, oh, okay. Venus, it makes sense about the Venus because Venus rules Taurus and Taurus is opposite Scorpio. Scorpio dealing with intimate relationships. You're there? Yes. yes okay, because I don't want to lose you again. Give no, me... I'm, yeah, I'm just... I'll, I'll, keep, I'll keep saying something, you know, uh, stuff, you know, periodically to let you know I'm still listening. Yeah, so, okay. be because, um, okay, so here it is. Um, I, I, I got her. I got her. Um, Urzuli Frida. Okay. Oh, she's Urzuli Frida, the homie. Um, Bobby Hammond speaks about the homie. Wow. Yeah, okay. What do he speak? The homie, the, the homie, the homie. Why does that sound so familiar? The homie. I don't know. Bobby Hemi speaks um, about... Um, is it because of that, that gentleman with the, uh, the Dogon, uh, Serious Star? Is that, is that correlated to the homie? It may be. You're right. It may be. It may be. You're right. I think so. I do believe because it's, it's, it's activating my long-term memory, the homie, the, the, the homie, the homie. It, it may be, and that's what I'm saying. It's off, giving offerings to this particular sister, which we're going to get into, may be why I'm seeing these other deities or these other women that are on like in another dimension because like you just said we're dealing with the dahomey people and those wasn't those the first ones that dealt with um astrology and numerology did the homie try no i, mean, no. Yeah, I believe so um one of, one of the one of the if not the first one of the, the first one the yeah. people from mali the people from mali right. but but see but what your spirit guys are saying that you have a, a ancestral connection to ghana um, people from Ghana, so it's like Central West in a sense, or even Ma oh yeah, Mali. Oh, okay. Let me let me let me. This is interesting. And again, um, uh, pyrite. You know the color gold. 
uh, you know, is, is with you too for attraction because that's a metal, that's a, one of the metals that will attract or bring about or rather is the, um, what they say, the, 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 the um, you know, when you put a plug into the socket, it's like a, it's like a vortex or something like yeah. that to attract. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so Urzuli Frida is, is envisioned as a stunning colonial era mix mixed race woman. Urzuli Frida is a wealthy court or courtaceous with a taste for only the finest in life. She is the queen of love, beauty, romance, and riches. Life as it should be. She is the most beautiful of the loi. Now loi, we dealing with spirit. That's that's the that's what loi means, just spirits, and that's what Haitian people call spirits is loi, right? So she is the most beautiful of the loi. Urzuli Frida dances with Papa Gide. He adores her. So you should probably do them both. That would be very good if you set up an altar for both Papa Gide and Urzuli Frida. She stimulates okay. and right. She stimulates and epitomizes love that trans that transcends death. Ursuli Frida is described as a wanton virgin. She well, and when they and when this, if you say virgin, we also dealing with the Virgin Mary, and if we dealing with the Virgin Mary, we also dealing with Aset. You see, so this could be a different, you know, this could be different versions of again the divinity or um high, the 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 ancient goddesses that I'm seeing now. Uh, well, that came to me today. Um, she does what she choo She does what she chooses. She sleeps with whomever she desires, and yet retains her virginity. Urzuli Frida, which is a form of sacredness, you know, which you're looking for. You're looking for someone that is sacred, right? So Urzuli Frida, Urzuli Frida lives life as as in a dream. She only wishes to see the good and beautiful. The world she envisions has nothing but kindness and graciousness. Everyone has good manners. Nothing is ugly, sordid, or crass. There is no racism, sexism, poverty, or perversion. Harsh reality, in, uh, harsh reality, and a Frida or an and Izuli Frida begins to weep. Her weeping floods the entire world. Her theme song could be "Cry Me a River." Or Zil, so then, they, therefore, this, this, this right here reminds me of like perhaps a water sign, or like you envision that, like that Aquarian energy where they have the that you know the water tendencies there, very emotional, very passionate. You see, but in any event. It will make sense that they're telling me to, to tell you to work with Urzuli Frida if they spoke to me about the planet Venus and not what I said, opposite, uh, which rules Taurus, which is opposite Scorpio, and Scorpio deals with water, flooding of the water, right? Yeah. Um, so now I'm putting these pieces together so it's making sense. Um, Urzuli Frida, the homie, is the spirit of heart, heartbreak hope, and disappointment. She's the spirit of it. So life never fulfills her expectation. She may weep, but she is never cynical. She wears three wedding rings, symbolizing her marriages to three spirits, Agui, Dahomey, and Ogun. Oh, that's interesting. Yet each, uh -huh. Uh -huh, yet each treats her like a concubine or mistress. She is more vulnerable than a wife. Um, Dumbala primary partner and soulmate is Aida Wido. Um, Agui wife is La Sarin, who may be in uh, an aspect of Urzuli. Ogun's partner and ally is Urzuli Donton, which is another form of Urzuli. Urzuli Frida is a tragic and beautiful, yet is, is tragic and beautiful, yet she is also difficult. She can be very capricious. capricious. She puts on airs and graces. She, she much prefers men to women, especially handsome young men. There you go, such as yourself. And if they're rich, young, and handsome, all the better. Women who seek to work with her 
must be willing to sublimate, sub, sublimate themselves to humble themselves and serve her the way a handmaid serves a great queen, just like yourself. And this is this is the key thing right here. You will, how can I say, give your queen all or the, the, the woman that you desire, you would treat her the best. You would treat her as a queen. You would give her, or you will, you know, you know, give her all that you can give her in a sense. And this would, this, this, those key words right there stands out to me while working with her because it's like, okay, you can treat her as if she is your woman so that she can attract the woman that you want. That's perhaps why they're telling me to tell you to work with her because if it's like you know you're catering to her you get and it and it's better for a man to work with her in my opinion than a woman because women us as women we tend to be you know have this like you know you know like you know female tendencies about her like I, I'm not gonna give her my all you know or, or in any event but working with her as a man is like I'm going to treat her as if she's my queen. And if you treat her as if she's her your queen, then you're going to attract what it is that you want in my opinion. Right? So, um so invoke her assistance with financial and romantic matters, right? It is in Urzuli Frida's nature to be acquisitive and never satisfied. It is crucial to set clear boundaries with her or she will potentially ruin your fi you financially. So when you when you work with her, you have to make sure that you know and again, this is according to this book here. I just wanted to get more information on who she is and just, you know, little pieces of how to work with her because this is who your spirit guides are recommending so in any event you know just as long as you keep that altar satisfied you know you keep that altar clean you keep feeding the altar you're good you see um this is this is just what is is being said in a book like you have to know who you actually working with you just it's just like you working with a um you know a co-worker you got to know if this person is is grouchy in the morning if this per person is happy in the morning you have to know who you working with this is a relationship that you're building so this is the same thing with Urzuli Frida in terms of knowing who she is and this is the reason why I said let me look into her right so it is crucial to set it is crucial to set clear boundaries with her or she will potentially ruin your you financially. No offering is ever quit, um, quite lavish enough. Do not forget if you owe her an offering, she won't. Um, all right, do not forget if you owe her an offering, she won't. Manifestation is a, a gorgeous, fair-skinned woman who is also stylish and impeccably dressed, um, em emblem heart or heart pierced with a dagger or sword attributes is a boat or a mirror so what i will recommend for you to do is um when you set up this altar put up a mirror her element is water there you go her days is tuesdays and thursdays what's today thank you today's thursday um animal is a snake her bird is flamingo which reminds me she could also be um, transform. She can also be a version of Oshun, which is also aspect in my opinion. Her metal is gold. I spoke to you about gold. Remember, I said pyrite, right? So her planets is yeah. her planets. Her plants are basil, fig tree, and bay uh, bay laurel. So what I will recommend for you to do is, um, when you set up this altar, you set it up with basil. Um, you put a mirror. Um, you put a mirror, and then her colors are pink, light blue, and white, uh, which I, I, you know, I uh, already uh, covered. And then her altar, although many do venerate Urzuli Frida much more simply, her altars are re re -node, uh re old for being some um, what is this word? Sumptuous, lavish, and large. Some dedicate entire rooms to Urzuli Frida, gradually furnishing them with offerings, including bedroom furniture and uh, well, she wants them and filling her closet with luxurious garments. 
alternately erect her altar atop at a stylish dressing table. This is very interesting. Offerings, and I'm going to tell you something else that's coming through. Wait till I finish with this. Offerings, French, French pastries, um, cafe au lait, French champagnes, which is which is good. Um, Virginia Slim's cigarettes, rice cooked in cinnamon milk. That cinnamon milk, this has to be. That's, this has to be another form of, of, of Oshun. This has to be another form of Oshun. Fried bananas sprinkled with um, confetti, sugar, white cake, luxurious fruits, jewelry, clothing, silk scarves, and luxuries. So now this is, this, is, this is what I'm picking up from this. The reason why your spirit guides are, or, you know, the reason why your spirit guides are recommending you to set up an altar or work with this particular person is because you want to attract someone of this nature in terms of attracting someone that likes the finest things, attracting someone that is very attractive, attracting somebody that you know you know, basically is beautiful, is attractive, is, you know, want to find, you don't want just an ordinary person, you want someone that you will cater to, that you will feel like, okay, I bought my wife this car, I bought my wife this, you know, this, this ring, I bought, and it's not yeah. only, and it's not only about the materialistic thing, but you, you know, when you stand next to your queen or you stand next to your partner, you, 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 you sort of kind of want other men to look at her. I don't know. I feel, I think that's what guys do. They want to be standing <laughs> side by side by a pretty young lady, you know, and then especially or a pretty goddess. And especially, you know, if she looks good, she smells good, she feels good, people are going to be attracted to that. And guess what? That is your lady. That is your woman. So in my opinion, the reason why they want you to work with this particular sister here is only for you to attract someone of fine beauty. That that's basically it. Because then, gotcha. th th yeah, and then this, and then th which I believe you want to. You know, you've been, you know, dedicated to yourself and doing what it is. You deserve someone of higher standards, you know, you don't just want an ordinary person, you want someone that is beautifully, is beautiful holistically, mind, body, and soul, you know, it's not all about, and I tell, I tell men all the time, although I do have wisdom, and a, although, but it's not all about the, it's not all about the attraction, it's not all about my face, it's not all about my physique, it's, it's my spirit, it's my soul, you see, um, so in any event, if you also if you also would like to um rather you do with her or you do with Oshun because I'm picking up that she may be another form of Oshun or she may be another form of um Aset. But Aset does not deal particularly with love. Aset just deals with the attraction of, of a feminine divine, you know, divinity in a sense. They they just told me, listen, Tell him whatever it is that he's doing is good, but he has to find another way um, of just bringing about what it is that he wants to manifest. Yeah, I, I, I understand uh, being more uh, being more active. Right. Um, being more being more hands on. Right. Yes. Yes. And again, you know, um, this is just a recommendation for you. Um, you know that Arzuli Frida is with you, or n not rather with you, but someone that you should work with in order for you to bring about what it is that you want. Also, I will also recommend um, Oshun, the goddess of beauty, the goddess of attraction, luxurious things as well, so that you can bring about this. This is what you want in your life, you know. Um, and then in, in any event, if you want to just, Put up a pink and white candle on a Friday or on a Thursday, and just do heart heart meditation, um, or or bringing about love in that way. That's also good. But like I said, the first thing that came up when I as soon as I woke up is listen. This is what you should tell him to do so that he can bring about what it is that he wants. And again, I'm not sure if this is what you wanted to speak to me about or if that was one of your questions. But this is what's coming yeah, up. Yeah, that's, uh, that's always one of my questions. 
Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, I didn't have to say anything. That you know, you read it right. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> uh, uh, turn me up on the speaker. You're kind of low. Okay. Uh, yeah, can you hear me better? Yeah, I can hear you better. What was you saying now? No, I no, I was I was saying that you know you you know you read you read that uh, automatically because that's you know um, that's a lot of many times that's the, <laughs> that's the heart of the matter. So you know. Yeah. It's, so um. Mhm. So you're no, but I basically no, basically you're on point with that. Definitely on point. Yeah, but that's just that. But see, normally when I, when we do have sessions, I would tap into I would channel other things. But I'm telling you, as soon as I woke up, it was like, love, like, this is what it is. Tell him this. This is the main thing. And I guess perhaps because you've been thinking about it or pondering about it or working on it, I'm, you know, again, I'm going to, you know, let you explain your progress or express your progress. But they like, listen, tell him this. This is what it is that he should do to further assist himself or further manifest what it is that he wants. And again, you know, it's all about cycles. You already have relationships with other deities or other women that you may not even be aware of. I don't know if you get visits or I don't know if you dream about women or what, but Mm -hmm. it may be that on this physical plane, you don't have it only because you're, in a polygamous, I'm polygamy, ain't no monogamy, monogamy, polygamous relationship with other, <laughs> no, because it's, 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 it's a, it's a, it's a few of these women that are coming to me, and you know what, they're, they're not, I don't see more so of, like, lighter skinned women, but it's more so like, um, chocolate, like, you know, brown, okay. brown, brown skinned women, yeah, like the mahogany brown, and I'm not, I'm, I'm really, this is what I'm seeing, this is, this is who is coming to me, so these are, and I'm telling you, like, they, 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 they're, they're, they're attractive women, and that's why I'm like, it may, it has to be something that you're doing that is attracting their spirit to you, I mean, attracting them to you on a spiritual level. Are you getting better with channeling? I'm, am I getting better with what? Channeling, channeling. Um, I, I think I'm, I'm I'm still working on. I think I would say I would say yes. I would say yes. Um, again, with me is being more consistent and, mm. and trusting in my own intuition and, oh, yeah. and what I pick up. Um, but yeah, I would say so. And you know, just to add on to that, just the whole breakdown of you know uh, the goddesses from the different dimensions. Lately, I've been uh, I think I've been more so tapped into my warrior spirit. Um, mm. You know, there's, there's like there's like this warrior spirit that's deep within me, where you know uh, when I see situations where sisters are, you know, just the whole overall scheme of things, and just how women are not, uh, you know, especially black women not being protected, mm. you know, not being respected, just kind of you know being abused. You know, you're hearing about all these accounts of you know, which is the elephant in the room in, in many of the black communities is, you know, the child molestation and all mm. these things. It's like uh, I, I've been channeling the feeling of more of a need to, you know, to want to fight for those who can't fight, mm. you know, or protect for those who need to be protected, mm. you know. And it's interesting that at the beginning of the conversation, you had mentioned, you know, several times of, you know, getting gold. Mm. Um, I actually, I just ordered two pieces from uh, this place in New York called Ancient Aura, um, jewelry, mm, and I, I, I ordered two two gold pieces, which mm. one is a a, a piece of a um, of a, a chief, a native chief, and the other is a, a lion piece. Mm. You know, but they're both gold. Mm. You know, so it's all, it's almost I was like, wow, I just I just just got gold right in the mail. You know. Yeah. Then, right in the mail. So then they they you so then that's what I'm trying to tell you that everything it may not feel like it. You know, it may, it, well, it may not seem like it, but be patient because everything is happening. I'm confirming what, what it is that you already been doing, you know, or have right. done. I'm confirming your alignment to your highest good. So you already on a spirit, like your spirit guided you 
to buy this particular goal and now your spirit guides is telling me listen tell him to get with this goal and again your spirit guides is going to tell me things about you that happened in the past present and future because for them there's no such thing as timing so they're just telling me what's going on listen tell him to make sure that he get this goal piece but you already hit to the program so you already got the goal so now that's the confirmation that this goal it, it was necessary for you to go to the next step or go to the next level. Um, and again, for, for you, for you, in a sense, what they're saying is attraction, um, being the, the conductor, rather. Yeah, that's what it is, the conductor. You know, like from, from point like A to B, like a point from A to B, in a sense, but you need like a conductor to get to there or you need like a, something to stimulate that or a spark to get to it, right. the goal is the spark for you to get to point A to B. And then again, my love, you want to begin um, to detox and cleanse the blood. Um, you know, something as simple as dandelion or burdock, um, roots, mm -hmm. and then, you know, a uh, uh, heart meditation chakra, even, you know, uh, holding the pyrite in your hand so that it could cleanse the blood for you as well because I do believe that um, pyrite cleanse the blood or work with the blood or work with insomnia or work with in anxiety and stress and things of that nature. I'm pre I'm more than sure that that's what it does. Um, and it balances the mind as well because it helps with your pineal gland. Um, and then as you confirm, um, you, your, your channeling is, is, your channeling is getting a little better, but it could be, I mean, you, you're improving, but it can be better. Um, yeah. but the, yeah. the, the thing, the reason why I asked about your channeling is because your spirit guys, your spirit guys said, listen, tell him to channel them. And who, who's them? The sisters that are, the sisters that are having this relationship with you on another dimension. So my question to you, that's why I asked you that question. Like, listen, are you getting better with your channeling? Because they're recommending me to tell you or they're re recommending you to just channel these particular sisters you will see them some fine lately they look good i could say that because i look good i don't give a damn <laughs> shit i look yes, good yes, I'm, I'm i'm look let me tell you something i could say that you know i have no hate in my blood for my sisters so in any event you know um work on your channeling like you said work on your you know, believing in yourself or rather, you know, don't second guess it. You're going to get stronger. Again, you're a Gemini. When's your birthday, actually? June, right? Uh, on the 14th. 14th. June 14th. Oh, okay. So, yeah, you're, it's coming up. Right. You're the natural channeler. So, you know, it is what it is. Do you have any questions or anything? Um, or comments actually, not, or feedback? Know, not, not, not saying, I think, you know, you're, you know, it's like when, whenever you do a reading with me, it's almost like, you know, you've already answered or, you or, or you know, the spirit guys are already get, giving me the advice that I need to know. You mm. know what I mean? So it's like, like everything, it just, it clicked, you know? Mm. And um, as you were speaking about um, Urzuli, I was actually looking up on the, um, um, on the Google, you know, mm. just looking at information. So as you were reading to me, mm. so I, was, I was definitely following that. So, mm. um, you know. I don't know, just, I, I feel like everything was on point. That was a message that, you know, I needed to hear. And the interesting part is that you were, you know, mentioning Venus and how, you know, of course, Venus rules Taurus, which is the opposite of Scorpio. Mm. And I, I was, you know, brief to in my, you know, my transit. And, and Venus was in my fifth house during, during this transit, you mm. know. That's the, yeah. And my, my fifth house is actually ruled by Taurus. Oh, you know what I mean? so that's dope. Every, Everything you're speaking about was kind of corresponding to that. Oh, that's quality, dope. Nice things, you know. Yeah, nice things. You know, you 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 want to live like that. You know, we don't we don't want to suffer. You know, we didn't come back to this planet to suffer. You know, we didn't come back to this planet to struggle. Like we we deserve as kings and queens or gods and goddesses or empress or emperor, whatever you want to call yourself, we deserve to live. Like we own this, you know, and you yeah. and you yeah. want to right. You let me tell you something. 
as you know, you are the creator of your own reality. And for me personally, that's what I set out for myself. I set out, listen, this is my life. This is how I'm going to live it. And this is what's going to manifest for me. You know, same thing with you and same thing with these different, this, this, is, this is very, very interesting that these sisters are aligning themselves like that. And again, they come with royalty. They come, they come with like, they, you know, like come correct. And this is the sister that you want. You want someone that has dignity, has something going for themselves, has high standards because now, you know, you ain't dealing with no chum, you know, and then that, and then too. Yeah. And then two, that will that will make you step your game up so that you can keep this divine spirit in a sense. So it make it all makes sense, you know, for you even if you want to set it up for Oshun, you know, um, Mama Oshun on Fridays, what now you can you can do the white and the yellow candles. Um, but but definitely I would definitely recommend for you to, you know, to set up an altar for love and if you have a lot of women coming to you, you know why on a physical, even though if you don't choose them, even though if you don't choose any of these women, you know that it's working. And everything happens in cycles. It doesn't happen when you want it to happen, as you know. It happens in cycles. When when you have aligned yourself with your highest good, and this, this, is, the, this is what I'm trying to tell you. This, this right here, this hanging up, I ain't feeling this. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. I was about to say, it happened again. Yeah, it and happened like, again. When you, like, when you about to get ready to go in. I'm, <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm not even, you know, I'm not really even feeling this, but um, what, what, what I was saying, what, 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 did, what was the last thing you heard me yeah. say? Yeah. What, and what, Empress, you, um, just breaking up a little bit on your line. I I said what what was the last thing you heard me say? Um, dang, what was the last thing? <laughs> I'm sorry. No, it's okay. Uh, I'm talking about um, no, just just you know the uh, you know, if, you know if <coughs> everything happened. If, if different women are starting to you know you know come to me. Right. So, okay. You know, that, so, that means it's working. Okay, yeah. so you heard that part. Okay, right. So, right, so, if yeah, <clears throat> so, and that's what I'm saying, that's what I'm feeling like it's already happening right now, um, and the reason why I'm feel like, feeling like it's already happening right now, because it's already written in the, in the transcript, it's already written in the blueprint, it's already in the ethers, so, again, this is a, it's a form of information that I might be picking up, like, future, like, in the future tense, um, because I already feel like it's happening right now, and that's why I said to you, it's, is is there a situation where you have a lot of women coming to you or uh, not you know what hitting not, on not you? That, not that yeah, not that I, I really like you know, pay attention to recognize, but you know, it might be, you know, women at, at work who, you know, just you know, have a good conversations or, or something that, of that nature, you know what I mean? You know. But something that I'm not really you know, being yeah. you know, not really being aware of, you know. Yeah, you. That's what it is. I'm telling you, that's probably what it is. Or even, let me tell you something, because you may not even be. You know what it is, because you're so disciplined that okay, a nice conversation is a nice conversation. That doesn't necessarily mean that this person is trying to get with me and stuff like that. But some many times, women, we we have our ways to try to get men attention and they're going to approach you these different women are going to approach you accordingly you know they're going to okay this is the way he presents himself let me approach him this way you're not on you know social media sagging your pants calling sisters bees and hoes and disrespect no you are you know you're always speaking positively you're always in divine order with your words so some of the times Many sisters may not even know how to approach you, but to just have a conversation, they try to fill you out. But because you're not looking at them like that, then it's like, well, I don't know. Is is she, is she or she's not? I You wouldn't know. But pay attention. Start to pay attention. Listen to key words, certain words that sisters say that you're going to be like, oh, nah, she's trying to get with me. 
I'm telling you, it's already happening. I already feel it, and that's why I was acting like, listen, what's up? You know, and it may be, and, and it may be too that you know the your, the the spirit that you're ha- the relationship that you're having in other dimensions may be playing a part too. Yeah, that that gotcha. that's definitely. Gotcha. That's definitely a big thing right there, too. That's why with me, most of the time, I try to cleanse myself, you know, especially when I channel and stuff like that. I try to cleanse myself as much as I can because I do know that there is men, jealous spirits on the other side that are attracted to me. I do know that. I It happened to me before. Even, you know, the, the guy that I was dating, was dating, was, W-A-S, was, <laughs> the guy that I was, was dating, you know, he even got attacked. Could you believe that? He got attacked in his wow. dreams. Yeah, he got attacked in his dreams. They try to get him. Yes. They try, they try to, they try to, they try to get him. They, he, what are you talking about? You're a fair guy. Protected. No, not my spirit guys, men. But okay, listen, got you. Got you. Me, the same when I told you that you have these different relationships with me, well rather your spirit is attracting other women on mm-hmm. on in different dimensions, right? You remember right. when I said that? Now with me, I know that different men on other dimensions or rather different spirits on other dimensions have an attraction to me, right? And mm-hmm. what I was saying was the men that I date on this particular realm, on the physical realm, they get they get got at. Like they get they get attacked from the men that are on the spirit got realm. You. Got you. And <laughs> okay. Yeah. I'm telling you, men they they had all these type of dreams. Oh, I was I was I was um protecting you from these men. I was doing this. I was doing that. Oh, is 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 bad to the point wow. that yeah, I'm telling you, I'm telling you, it happens. We're spiritual people, and especially someone like myself, like I was saying, especially somebody like myself that I I I channel all the time. I have to constantly be cleansing myself because I could be channeling so many different people. And it's like, oh, well, who's this person, you know? We, or we're dealing with spirituality here. We're not dealing with this avatar physical person. We're dealing with spirituality here. Our spirit can go to planet Mars, to planet Venus, to Taurus, to whatever, to whoever, to galaxies we don't even know about because we are divine, original people. It happens. It's part of our nature. We have to understand it. Absolutely. Absolutely. Mm-hmm. Yep. So my love, I thank you so much. If you if you don't have any questions, um, I thank you so much, you know, for reaching out to me. I'm I'm more than, you know, delighted to deliver those messages so that I can further assist you. Um, you know, have a wonderful birthday, especially I'm definitely gonna shout you while, you know, on on the social oh, media. Respect, yes, yes yeah, June fourteen, right? Yeah. Are you doing anything yeah. or? Um, I no, I'm I never really have anything special to do. Um, so maybe I, I may fly out and travel, you know. But uh, you know, well, let's see, we'll see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it all fall into divine order. Actually, what I'm going to be doing is probably detoxing. Oh <laughs> well, I'm that's. Ready to start this. There's 40 day cleansing and detoxing at least 40 days, so you know, um, that that's what my goal is is, is to really just focus back on the, on the health part of me and yes. just really get my you know, you know this is my new year. So, yes, you know, yes, um, yes. Get it to yeah, getting it together within yourself and you know cleansing, pur- purging, you know old feelings, old toxins, old food, you know even past life information things. You want to, or past life, like, uh, a trauma, or rather, you know. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know if it's my phone or your phone, but, um, what I was saying is just, you know, releasing and, you know, getting rid of old so that you can start with the new again. And again, this is the this is the cycle of the number nine, two thousand and sixteen adds up to the number nine. 
So we're dealing with right. closing out the old so we can begin the new. So everything is good. I'm very glad that you're on this path. I'm very glad that you're progressing, you know. But just, you know, step it up a little bit more. Step it up a little. Because the earth is actually quickening, it, quickening, you know. The earth is vibrating very quickly. So we have to be on pace and we have to be, you know, we got to keep up. So step it up just a little bit, just a tiny bit. Whatever it is that you're doing, yes, you just step it up a little bit. Okay, my love. So I thank uh, you. Give, give thanks, Queen. Oh um, yeah. You know, always appreciative of, of your gifts and, yeah. and, and you know and, and your wisdom. So oh, yeah. uh, give thanks and um, you know, thank you for that insight. Oh yes, my love. Thank you so much, Creative Bless. All right. Mm -hmm. no Peace. Peace. Bless.